Terry, you said you wanted that in your hotel room. You've got it. Yeah, I'm going to start crying again here. Right. Have you been crying all afternoon? Yeah. Now? Really? Yeah, I can't believe it. I've played for England. Uh, I can't talk to you, mate. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Come Honestly, I've played for England. It's a very emotional uh, moment for you. Be the best day of my life. Fantastic. Yeah. Any, any particular thing that stands out? I mean, no, obviously the, the first goal, but I mean, obviously... I'm not bothered about the result. Um, the support, 30,000. Uh, I can't speak. Red and white. Uh, we couldn't, uh, you know, we couldn't write the script better, me and Clive. We, we went, went two down to Hereford and got three back. We've come here, uh, and you want to win, but to win like we did and score three great goals, or two great goals, the last two, uh, I think somebody up there has looked after, looked after us this season. Because uh, when you think we had a diabolical opening with Plymouth, uh, and we had to beat Walsall away to get through the group, and we'd never beaten before, we weren't there beating two one. And I said to Clive, you know, somebody must be looking after us. It, it could be our year, but I'm sure Bolton felt that because they're not wigging out. We're a good side. Um, I'm chuffed to bits for the the thirty odd thousand people. I, I can't believe it. What was it like sitting on the bench? Because you've always been I a fighter. It. You wanted to get out there and do something. I enjoyed it. it. I thought I'd got me. Uh, I thought I'd made a mess of uh, my preparation uh, because we played Darlington uh, last Thursday week. I gave them the Friday off, and then I absolutely killed them for four days, like pre-season. Really killed them, and the thought was that I would kill them and then ease them, ease them right off, and get some power back because they'd had a long season. And I thought, to be fair, Bolton looked the better team for 20 minutes. And then we started. We just started to... I, was, I think our strength started to tell. And uh, I said to Clive, you know, thank God we've got it right at the end. Uh, and I think the training paid dividends. You know, we killed them, but it was for today. And I think, you know, with 15 minutes to go, we got the third goal, which was very important to kill them off. And then we, we really looked strong. And the players ran the socks off for me. And uh, I'm delighted for the sports. And of course, it means a great deal for you now next season because surely aren't they going to ride on this crest? Well, I said to them, if we, if we could get the trophy back to the hotel tonight, it should set us up for next season. If I can get me two or three new players uh, to the club for the pre-season training, it, this should set a, this should set us up. I mean, the chairman's already threatened me that the, the minibus will be knackered next year and need a new one. Uh, but I think we've got enough money to do what I want to do, more than, what I, more than enough what I want to do, because I am a director, I know the financial situation, and I'm not going to be the manager to put them back into bankruptcy. What I would like to do, uh, with the board's approval, is, is try and get his own training premises, because that's a tremendous asset. And I'm thinking, while I want success now, I'm thinking that in 50 years, when we've all gone, uh, Bristol City is still playing at Ashton Gate. And I think that's very important. You know, especially when there's 30,000 come here, I mean, if we get to the FA Cup, we'll, we'll take it all. What a proud moment for you. We've, we've had the odd tear. I'm we've sorry. Got, we've got to have a kiss now, haven't we? Don't you want to kiss? Say... Oh, yeah. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Bring the chairman in and get in the back. Yes. Uh, Good one. Come on.